Okay, everyone, we have touched down today, a very inspiring day for NASA, for JPL, for the entire nation and the world as the Mars Perseverance rover and Perseverance mission landed on Mars and it's now starting its work. Perseverance with its many instruments will perform some fascinating scientific work. Uh, it, it will be releasing the Ingenuity helicopter on Mars so that uh, for the first time we'll have powered flight on Mars. Also, Perseverance will start its work in Jezero Crater where we will be looking for microbial life, uh, signs of life on Mars. And this is extremely exciting. People are going through a lot right now and the optimism of persevering, of actually meeting challenges from COVID-19 to floods and winter storms. We've seen a lot, but I can tell you this today, having the opportunity to see this successful landing of the Perseverance rover is remarkable. And I'm excited. I know what we've been doing on LaRouche Pack. If you've gone to our website, we have been following all of the excitement of the launch and of the landing. And you can go and find out what instruments are on Perseverance, the cameras on Perseverance. One of my exciting uh, things I'm most excited about is that um, of all of the things, the experiments that the rover is going to be launching and doing, it will be traveling on the surface of Mars for about 200 meters per day and will be gathering samples. So for the first time, the United States is going to be performing a sample return mission. And you should go to our website. You can find out more about that. Uh, also, you can follow at JPL exactly what's going on. LaRouchePack.com is indicating what the mission for a full moon Mars colonization mission must contain. But with the sample return mission, it's an international project. You have the U.S. Perseverance rover that's going to be collecting the samples in about 2031, what they're predicting is that you're going to have the uh, ESA, European Space Agency, that's going to send a catch rover down, that's going to pick up those samples, and that will bring the samples back to a orbiter that will rendezvous, get the samples, and bring them back to Earth. My, that is extremely exciting. So I just wanted to give you that update. I was excited to be able to uh, actually watch that today as many others were and to see the inspiration of being able to overcome certain challenges and to be able to meet those challenges and see this great success for all of mankind. And as I reported earlier, we're not there alone, that we just went up there and we are now there as a part of three nations, China and the UAE, the United States with its Perseverance rover are on the surface of Mars or in Mars orbit. So this is exciting times for mankind and we can overcome all challenges and all obstacles. Thank you. We'll have more for you. Check out the updates on LaRouchePack.com.